Tesla is putting Cybertruck steel skin to test. Based on Tesla's field technician statement, Tesla has deployed different types of steel across its service vehicle fleet in the form of a steel plate mounted as a front license plate welcome back dear friends this is armin haryan from torquenews.com if you are here for the first time please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story this is the sixth tesla video news story that we're reporting today and please also like this video from our friends tesmanian who tom simic uh, from tesmanian provides the, the content of this video and um, you can see the description link in the uh, the, the link of this uh, content in the description of this video. Tom says there is no question that Cybertruck is polarizing in many regards. Its specs no doubt shake and awe from its tri-motor option to its possible laser windshield wipers over its armor glass to its extreme angular design. The controversial look of the Tesla Cybertruck isn't just a matter of CEO Elon Musk's love for the Blade Runner movie or the Hawk vehicle in Microsoft's Halo. Its unique aesthetics are in large part due to the structural integrity indeed um, needed for its exoskeleton design. The prototype revealed the two prototype of the Cybertruck revealed last year has been discussed by Sandy Monroe from Monroe and Associates on multiple occasions in a very positive light. Mr. Monroe has pointed out not only his struggle to bring similar design to consumers, but also all the advantages of it, in particular the reduced cost of manufacturing the Cybertruck. Tom also says that the Cybertruck won't have the modular vehicle platform like the standard vehicle designs you see on the street. Its body will bear the entire weight on the vehicle, eliminating the need for a chassis. To further underline the strength, Tesla originally announced it would use a 3mm thick proprietary type of metal, 30 times cold rolled or 30x cold rolled steel, while heavier than the aluminum, predominantly used for most of Tesla's current models, it would still offer reduced weight, according to Mr. Monroe. And meanwhile, it would render the Cybertruck electric pickup truck bulletproof. Elon himself made remarks that the Cybertruck could be shot at with a 9mm handgun, leaving a mark without structural damage, however. However, like all companies that Elon Musk steers, Tom says, which have a proactive um, proclivity for vertical integration, better design or materials are constantly implemented on the fly. Cybertruck won't be an exception. As a case in point, last month, referring steel used on SpaceX, Starship Musk indicated on Twitter that tweaks are already in progress regarding the Cybertruck. We are rapidly changing alloy constituents, uh, constituents and forming methods, so traditional names like 304L will become more of an approximation, he said. And when asked whether the alloy slated for Cybertruck would be changing too, the Tesla CEO replied with a simple yes. And while Tesla works on one of its concoctions, the electric vehicle maker is also testing out its samples in the wild. Just like any product that needs to take the abuse of everyday life's wear and tear, Tesla is conducting tests in the environments in which the vehicle will eventually occupy. Based on Tesla's field technician statement, Tom reports that Tesla has developed, deployed different types of steel across its service vehicle fleet in the form of a steel plate mounted as a front license plate, depicted in these pictures that you can see from the Tesmanian.com. Tom also says the ingenuity in this approach illustrates Tesla's research and development is anything but standard, reflecting cost effectiveness and a solid variety of test areas and data aggregation while mitigating a need for additional impact on resources. While the final design of the Cybertruck is still to come, Elon Musk 
has already pointed out certain characteristics that are beyond contention, one of which is the vehicle's dimensions. Whether Cybertruck will remain bulletproof could, for example, the change um, should there be could that that could change should there be a shift in the material used so if they use different materials cybertruck will not be bulletproof anymore or the opposite vice versa the originality of cybertruck's design proposed material prompted by mr monroe to make a small presentation during an interview he was presenting different size uh, ammunitions from 9mm up to the uh, 50 caliber rifle round, making a point that all but the last round would be stopped by the vehicle's materials. This is one of the electric truck's proprieties that understandably has appealed to law enforcement agencies across the globe, contributing to multiple vehicle orders. Should this characteristic be lost to a newly chosen material design, the current count of pre-orders for the Cybertruck could be seen taking a hit, because it's very important for the law enforcement to have cars that are bulletproof. I don't know if current law enforcement vehicles generally are bulletproof. Maybe they are, maybe they don't. I honestly don't know. If you guys know if they are bulletproof or if some or which ones are, please let me know in the comment section below. But I think it's a big advantage for Cybertruck that it will appeal if it's bulletproof to law enforcement, special agencies, and maybe the army, um, different armies of, of, of the globe that can order the Cybertruck knowing that it's bulletproof. And um, maybe this is why um, we, we will have many orders for Cybertruck. If you notice, Tesla has been myster mysteriously quiet about the Cybertruck's uh, real orders. Uh, well, the last time we have heard it had a few hundred thousand orders, but not as many as uh, Model 3 or or others but maybe these orders are coming from law enforcement agencies that are maybe these orders are coming from uh, law enforcement agencies not only in the united states but globally as well as different uh, military um, organizations and, and, and armies militaries of different governments maybe this is why cybertruck um, is appealing to them uh, for different and difficult situations well let me know what your thoughts are on this but it's interesting that tesla is putting cybertruck skin to the test to see how bulletproof it is with a uh, with a thicker um, thicker uh, pla uh, material in the meantime friends this is armin harian from torchnews.com let me know um, uh, please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about tesla and electric vehicles please also ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next tesla story when i up up upload it and if you would like to write tesla stories please uh, let me know in the comment section below or uh, because torchnews.com is hiring tesla reporters and electric vehicle reporters you can get my email from the uh from the about page of our torque news youtube channel and send me a sample story and we'll take it from there have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you and take good care of each other see you soon friends peace be with all of you